Lady and today we're going to talk about the anime called The Heroic Legends of Aslan. No, not the Aslan Lion from Nanya. This anime series is based on a Japanese fantasy novel by Yoshiki Tanaka in 1986. This duty is based on a crown prince of a fictional kingdom of past and I think this anime reminds me of a little bit like Yona of the Dawn. Why did I say that you say? Because in both anime, the prince and princess both got kicked out of their own home um, due to some unexpected circumstances, aka by their cousins. And they both always get accompanied by their most trusted generals. Ah, the handsome generals. And gathering allies to aid them in the future of reclaiming their own kingdom. Yeah. And that's why I always love watching historical anime because sometimes it might be fictional but sometimes it is based on um, historical events and figures. As the series goes on, you get to see how the main character grows within each episode. You get to see what loyalty and trust is about. You get to see how Prince Aslan are trusted by his companion and he trusts them too while they go through each journey. And it's can relate it to the modern society now that such simple things are hard to find. This anime also shows the importance of equality of every human being. Um, as Prince Aslan goes through his hardships and journey, he also learns that himself as well. Well, let's not forget, I also love watching General Dayun in the series. The background art is a very detailed. It's almost look like it's real when you especially when you look at the castle the bricks like the cracks um you know like the color everything is just put, well put together the character designs of each character are very attractive um ahem general Dayun. um the clothes are very well drawn elegant and very exotic like and one thing i noticed about the opening theme and ending theme is the opening themes the character drawings is almost it's exactly the same as in the anime but in the ending theme they made it look more like fantasy like the color more vibrant and it kind of pops out well since we're talking about the opening and the closing theme the music i feel like the opening theme music is not as how do you say exciting as the ending theme like the ending theme pumps you up and like it makes you want to um, ready for the next episode maybe that's why they did it but I felt like it could have been more appropriate in the beginning I don't know but that's just how I feel because I, I really like all the ending um, closing theme so if you have a chance um, check the anime out and see how it goes so there you go thank you so much for watching again um, let's meet here again next week